Your first day as a new realtor can feel like you're being thrown to the wolves. In most cases, you don't have a boss who actually teaches you the job and helps you learn the ropes. So what do you do? Well, 45 days ago, that was my first day and I had no idea what I was doing. Now I'm gonna share with you what I did and everything that I learned my first month as a realtor. Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Myra and I am a new realtor with Keller Williams Realty. I started my real estate career on January 1. It has been a whirlwind, but it has been so much fun. I will say when you first get started, it's very overwhelming. It feels like you are drinking from a fire hose. I feel like you don't really know what you're doing even though you went through in tennessee 90 hours of education in order to pass the test the first thing that i learned is everything that you learned during your training in order to prepare for your test had very little to do with what you actually do as a realtor so I'm not saying that's not important, but what I am saying is the course and everything that you learn leading up to your test pretty much teaches you what not to do, but it doesn't actually teach you how to do the job. That is something I was really not aware of until I started. Um, so what we are gonna talk about today is everything that I had to learn my first month as a realtor. And even though it's overwhelming, it's really a lot of good information and I feel like this first month has been just me learning. I'm trying to soak up as much as I can because there's just so much to know within the business. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna talk about is the training. There is so much training involved as a new agent. I will say I started with Keller Williams and part of my reasoning for choosing Keller Williams, which I will make an entire separate video about, but one of my reasons for choosing them was the training. They are known as being best in the class for the trainings that they do offer for new agents, but even agents who have been with them for a while who just want to push themselves even more. So for me, I was fortunate enough to start January 1, which was the same day that they started their training called Ignite. Now, Ignite is a 30-day course that they offer a few times during the year. I think it's somewhere around four times a year, but I could be wrong, um, where they teach you everything you need to know about being a successful realtor. They teach you all the ins and outs of how to get clients, how to work with a seller, how to work with the buyer, how to write up contracts, how to um, do open houses. They cover it all. And that is stuff that I was completely blindsided with going into it because like I said before, that is not something that you actually learn when you are studying for your realtor's license. I actually had some of the course material printed out and this is just some of it. As you can see, that is a lot. I will say there's probably enough to completely finish filling up the pink binder and then some. So what is in all of this? Well. For starters, half of this is just scripts, which I think is amazing. So why do you even want scripts? Why are there so many scripts? Well, scripts are game changers. I will say that much. I feel like when you are first starting off, you don't really know the job. You don't really know the ins and outs of everything or the ropes of how to convert somebody to a seller, how to convert somebody into a buyer. These scripts really help you sound confident and get the message across in a way that is going to be um, very much accepted by the other person. For me, talking, especially about things that I don't really feel that educated in on like how to convert somebody, is something that can be a little intimidating. There are scripts in there for cold calls, calling for sale by owners, seeing how can you convert a for sale by owner to be someone that could possibly list with you. Well, there are scripts for that. They teach you how to go about it, how to not sound too forceful with people, but how to be, what is the word for it? How to be 
um, confident enough to where they now trust you and want to work with you, which I think is amazing. All right, so getting back to Ignite, there are multiple topics that are covered. They talk about mindset. They talk about how to get clients, how to build your network. They um, talk about how to get leads and how to market yourself and seller's presentations for listings, buyer's presentations in order to convert them to um, clients. We discuss showing homes, safety related to showing homes. We discuss open houses, how to go about even doing an open house, how open houses can actually help you even if it's not your listing, and just all that stuff, which I think is really good information. And that is offered with Keller Williams. I don't know if a lot of other brokerages offer trainings like this, but I will say I do know that Keller Williams is known as being best in the class for this. Um, if you don't have a training option like this, you're really either on your own or you are hoping that there is someone around who wants to mentor you. Now, me, I would like a mentor, but I don't want to put that whole burden of teach me everything on one person. So if I can take a class and it can cover everything that I need to know and I get all of this at my fingertips for the rest of my career, I will take it. That covered the first half of my entire work days. Um, for the last 30 days, for 30 days of January. And during the other half of the days, what I would work on is trying to um, build my network, essentially. I'm not really from here. I don't have a wide network. I don't really have any friends here that could be good leads. We moved here um, during the middle of a pandemic and pretty much have been staying inside, social distancing, all that stuff until then winter came and pretty much been cooped up anyways. So have not really done much outreach in the sense of trying to physically build a network here in Middle Tennessee. But what I have been doing is going through all of my contacts, everybody that I know, everyone that has been a part of my life at some point, everybody that is in my phone list, my uh, Facebook, my Instagram, LinkedIn, all that stuff, going through all those people and letting them know that I'm a realtor. That is pretty much what has been consuming most of my time. And I will say I started realizing about halfway through it's not as effective as I wish it could be. And I think a part of that has to do with nobody pretty much in my entire contacts is here in Tennessee. Um, I'm originally from Texas by way of Chicago and pretty much everyone that I know is in those two places. So unfortunately, it's nice to tell them and Keller has a great referral network, which if they ever need someone in the future, I can probably help them and get them connected to somebody in their area and possibly get a um, referral, but it's not as, um, what would be the word for it? It's not as straightforward. I would say that's probably one of my biggest disadvantages. And it's kind of sad because I feel like I have the customer service down, I have the people skills, I have what it takes to really do this, but the client acquisition is a little bit harder because I just am not as connected here as I wish that I could be. So when you first start off with whatever brokerage you choose, there's probably going to be a lot of different systems that you have to get set up and get to know. With Keller, there are multiple systems. One is called Command, one is KW Connect. There's several other ones. And I have been pretty much trying to just learn them all. Command is pretty much a client management system. So everyone that I've talked to, um, everyone that seems like they could be a possible lead, or even if you know maybe they're not, I'm still putting them in. And you can just kind of manage the entire relationship with whoever you're talking to. It sends you notifications on who you spoke to when you need to follow up with them, all that good stuff. So it's a really good way to stay organized. But there's a lot to learn and there's a lot of information involved in that. So um, between all the different systems, it's been a really steep learning curve. 
Um, on top of that, we have been trying to do all the social media marketing. I have started a LinkedIn. I've started a new um, Instagram page. And I'm actually working on building a separate website other than my Keller Williams one because I want to be able to move some of my blogging over to that as well. I feel like blogging, especially in this market with everything that's going on in um, Middle Tennessee is very exciting. So I definitely want to get in the game with that. Speaking of what is going on in the uh, market in Nashville right now, the market is just insane right now and they're expecting it to get even more crazy when springtime starts rolling around. There are more buyers than there is inventory. So things are getting snatched up so fast. They're going at asking price, they're going above asking price. I mean, homes are getting sold within the same day that they're listed. And it's just, it's been hard. I've been seeing from other people as a buyer's agent. So my whole strategy when I first started here was I wanted to really focus on being the buyer's agent. I wanted to be someone who could help um, people who are moving into the area. And it's looking like there is a lot less inventory, which is going to start posing a problem. There's a lot of new construction going up, and I feel like that's going to help fill some of the gaps. But the problem with that is there are lead times to those, and people who are moving need a house now. So there's not a lot of inventory. And prices are honestly going at, they're going up. <laughs> Let's just say that they're going up because there is not enough inventory. It's probably easier right now to be a seller's agent in Middle Tennessee because you will for sure get it sold if it is listed correctly, you market it correctly, and the price is reasonable. Another thing that I spent a lot of time during this past month working on is trying to build up my network in relation to other people in the business. So one thing that we did learn in Ignite is that you need to have your circle, which means you need to have the realtors that you are on good terms with. You need to have um, loan officers. You need to be connected to the mortgage companies and just all of that learning your people um, so I've been working actively on that. I've spoken to several um, loan officers and several other realtors. I think my next steps would be starting to try to learn who some of the inspectors around here are and just any of the other um, people involved in transactions that I should get to know. I think that's really important to build those relationships. They were saying, especially with the people who work I feel like it is really important to build those relationships, especially with the people who you are going to be working with a lot. So one thing that they did say is to make sure you have about three of um, mortgage companies that you would want to refer your clients to and get to know their loan officers and all of that. So that is another thing that I've been working on. And I think one of the last things that I've been working on that I'm really excited about that I have not been able to really start doing yet though, is um, door knocking. So because I don't really know a lot of people here, I think I'm gonna have to do the traditional way of reaching out to people, cold calls, door knocking, all that kind of stuff. With that being said, we decided to order some door hangers and I'm waiting for those to come in right now. And then when they get here and the weather starts to break, we're just gonna go and knock on all the doors there are so many subdivisions around here that i've made a goal to by the end of the summer we're going to hit up every single one so that's going to be another way of trying to gain clients which is something that i am really excited about with that being said i think that that is everything for the most part that i have been doing during my first month as a realtor with keller williams um it's been a lot of behind the scenes stuff it's been working on marketing strategies and trying to get a blog up and trying to just really make a presence online since i don't really have that community here i feel like online is going to be a really good um, resource for me so that's what i've been doing i've also been learning all the ins and outs of all of the systems um there's just so much to learn and i just i felt a little overwhelmed honestly 
when you first start, especially with color, they give you so much information, which is great. Um, but at times it feels like you're drinking through a fire hose. There are lots of courses offered, lots of different classes, everything you can learn. I mean, just, I've been trying to soak it all in. I feel like if I can learn everything first, then I can feel more confident in what I'm trying to actually do. That's what I've been doing. I feel really proud of everything that I have learned up until now, and I'm just really excited to keep going with this and seeing where things go. If you gained anything from today, or if you are just interested in real estate or seeing where I go with this, um, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that. If you're ever looking to buy or sell or you have any real estate related questions, feel free to message me. I will leave my contact information below. So with that, I will see you in the next video. Bye.